Hey guys, um, I'm here today recording a hospital bag essential video for everyone. Um, as you may know, I'm a mother of two. I've done the labor and delivery thing twice and I had two really different experiences with each of my children. So I feel like I have a good idea of what you need to bring and what will make you more comfortable uh, during your hospital stay and then during you know your recovery, things like that. So. I'm gonna list off my top tips and then I'll go through and show you my favorite items that I brought with me. Um, and I will say that I am not an overpacker. I am all about comfort and I'm all about making the most of the hospital stay and I feel like that should be a wonderful experience. And you know, it's not easy to have a baby. So everything that you bring should really make you feel more comfortable and happy. And uh, I don't scrimp on the comfort, um, but I also think that just staying organized and keeping your room clutter free and having everything that has a purpose, I think everything should have a purpose that you bring um, just to kind of minimize the stress and keep a zen-like experience um, through labor and recovery. So my top tips would be these. You're not gonna be able to put everything in your bag um, you know, your phone charger, your headphones, your prenatal vitamins, things like that you're gonna need to throw in last minute. So my tip would be to make a handwritten list or type out a list and just stick it on top of your bag so that if your water does break or you know, if your doctor sends you to the hospital, you can send your husband on a scavenger hunt to throw all those last minute items in the bag um, and just load up the car and go. My second tip would be after 36 weeks, keep your hospital bag in the trunk of your car. Um, with my son, I was at a doctor's appointment and I had signs of preeclampsia, so my doctor sent me to the hospital straight from my appointment to get induced. And I'm so glad that I had my hospital bag in the trunk of my car because um, I didn't have to worry about sending my husband away. There was no way he was leaving me at that point. Um, we were about 30 minutes from the hospital. So, you know, we didn't have time to go there and, and come back. Um, and I got to have my blanket. I got to have, you know, all the things that made me feel comfortable. And I didn't have to worry about going home or sent, calling my mom or, you know, whatever. I had all the things that I wanted. My third tip would be to use packing cubes. And if you do not know what a packing cube is, I will show you. They are um, little cube storage bags that you can pack neatly into your suitcase. And they all fit like Tetris blocks. Um, and it just helps keep things organized. So I use the big one for myself. I put all of my clothes and robes and socks and everything in there. And then baby girl got the medium sized one and I put, you know, her coming home outfit and bows and things like that in hers. And then my husband got one too. So he just, you know, takes a change of clothes and he's easy. So I think the packing cubes really helped to keep us all organized. There wasn't stuff all over the room. We didn't have to pack, unpack the whole suitcase every time, you know, we needed Charlotte's bow for her, you know, announcement picture or something like that. Um, and I also love that it comes with a few little laundry pouches. It's a set you can get on Amazon. So anything dirty, which you just had a baby, you're gonna have some dirty laundry. Um, you just stick in there, zip it up, and then you can just worry about it when you get home and it doesn't commingle with all of your other clean clothes. Um, so I really liked having those uh, and just to help organize all of our things that we brought. Okay, another tip that I was a game changer for me was that this time I brought this portable charger and I brought wireless headphones. So this charger, you just plug it into the wall and it's really fast charge and um, it charges your phone and it even charges our baby monitor um, and you don't need any extra cords. So this just charges your iPhone um, and it has an Android port too. So I just had it, you know, next to me. I could have my husband plug it in. And then these really were awesome, the AirPods, because we were not allowed to have any visitors with my daughter. So FaceTime was key for us. Um, and if your baby's sleeping on you, you don't want 
to be having a loud phone conversation. Um, so I use these a lot. Also, we brought our laptop to watch movies because we had some downtime. Um, and these really helped just minimize the noise. And it was just nice to be able to take phone calls and um, be hands-free, basically. Okay, another game changer for me was that I brought this medium-sized zipper pouch. Bonus points if it's clear. Um, this one's by Base. I got it at Nordstrom. I think Revolves carries it too. And I kept this on the little tray by my bed the whole time I was in the hospital. And I just kept little personal items that I wanted um, close by. Like I have a lip balm, I have a hand lotion, I have hair ties, I have hair clips, I have chewing gum, you can't eat during labor, so chewing gum was kind of just nice to have. Um, I have a cute little pen that I used if I had to sign documents or um, I bring the baby book. So I, you know, if I wanted to take notes or write down anything memorable in the baby book, I had a little pen handy. Um, of course, I have my mask that was just right there, easy for me to grab. I had my prenatal vitamins that I pre-flighted Monday through Friday, just in case. I had them right next to me, ready to go. A um, couple of Charlotte's bows that I just, they were small and little, so I didn't want them to get lost in the big luggage. And I could just, you know, put them on her. Um, and it's clear, so it's really nice. You can just see everything in there. And then on this side, I kept all of my little electronic things. So I have my phone charger. I kept my phone in here. I have my AirPods. And this bag actually comes with a little handheld mirror, which is nice if you want to apply a little makeup or, you know, I don't know, take off your makeup, lip balm, whatever. Um, there's also a bag that I like that's from Target that's a lot lower price point and it's I think having it clear just makes it really convenient because you can just see what you're grabbing for you're not digging through a big old bag um, so I loved having this I would say top five tips for sure um, I loved it okay another game changer for me was I brought this fan um, and it's portable so I actually had this for my son and it clips onto your stroller so in the hot summer, it's easy and it just keeps them cool in their little stroller. Um, it clips onto the little handlebar. I just brought it thinking, eh, I might want it. I loved having this. Just you're on, well, you might be on, you know, medicine that makes you hot. Um, with my son, I had a pretty high fever and I just couldn't cool off. If you're in labor, like I was with my son for 30 hours, <laughs> you're hot. You know, it's a lot of hard work. It's like running a marathon. So the fan and the water bottle just must haves. Plus you can just, you know, use it when you come home from the hospital. We use ours all the time. Another tip that I have is that you can actually uh, unhook your Apple TV from your regular TV and bring it with you to the hospital. It's super small. It doesn't take up a lot of space. You can just throw it in your bag last minute and bring it with you. And if your hospital has Wi-Fi, which it probably does. You can watch all the shows you watch at home, um, especially if you have a C-section or you know, you're know you in the hospital more than a night or two. It's just nice to have some home comforts um, with you just to make you feel more comfortable and you'll have some downtime. So it'll be nice for you and your husband or your partner to be able to watch those shows together. Another tip that I have is to invest in some good nursing bras Lululemon Align leggings and a really comfortable soft robe. So I wore these leggings to the hospital and I also wore them home from the hospital. I wore them pre-pregnancy. I wore them all of nine months through my pregnancy and I wore them postpartum and I still wear them. Um, get your regular size. They grow with you. They're so comfortable and totally worth the price point in my opinion. Um, my favorite nursing bras that I have, and I'm a connoisseur of nursing bras. I nursed my son for nine months, um, and then I've nursed my daughter for four months. I'm, my goal is to make it a year. Um, we'll see if I can make it that long. But I wore them when I was pregnant too because they're just comfortable, and I never really wore real clothes because we never really left the house. So I lived in nursing bras. And my two favorites are the Kindred Bravely, I love this brand. The quality is just unsurpassed. 
I love them. Um, definitely worth the price. And then the, I love these Target. They're sports bras, but they're also nursing bras. So um, if you work out, they're great and you can still nurse. Um, I wore mine even when I wasn't nursing because they're just really comfortable. They fit really nicely and they're super convenient to nurse in. And I also like that there's a racer back. So if you wear like a racer back tank, you don't have the big old straps hanging out um, and they're like skinny and dainty. So, um, yep, I loved those. My last big tip would be don't overpack and stay organized. Um, you might watch a bunch of YouTube videos or read a bunch of blogs that tell you you need, you know, aromatherapy candles or whatever. In my opinion, that might be your jam and that's totally fine. In my opinion, it less is more. You're, you know, there to have a baby and I feel like, yes, you need all the items that are going to make you comfortable, but you don't need 10 outfits. Your baby doesn't need a bunch of clothes. I feel like it's best to just keep it simple. Um, you'll only have one bag to carry up. It's just easier on both you and your husband. It could be a stressful time and just keeping it simple and keeping everything organized and having everything serve a purpose is just key to keeping it just a low key experience. You need to bring a big water bottle with you with a straw. Um, I had a C-section with my second baby um, and I it was really nice to just be able to have my cup on the table next to me um, with the straw so that I didn't have to keep lifting the bottle up to my mouth. Um, and then it was big enough to where I didn't have to keep requesting my water to be filled up all the time. Um, and you can't eat during labor, so it's really important to stay hydrated. Um, and then it's super important for your recovery as well. I'll start with things that I brought for a baby girl that I was really happy that I brought, and then I'll show you items that I brought for myself. So we fit everything into one suitcase. I'll show you the suitcase. This is the suitcase we brought. Um, it's a Samsonite, just I use it for everything. And in one side, I had all of my things um, and baby's things in the packing cubes. And on the other side, I fit our boppy pillow into the other side of the suitcase and then had all my husband's things. So for your baby, you really don't need much. The hospital provides everything um, from diapers to wipes. They'll even give you clothing probably. They'll swaddle the baby for you and you'll be doing lots of skin to skin. So you're not really gonna wanna put the baby in pajamas or you know some elaborate outfit when they're first born because you're gonna have them on your chest, they're gonna be sleeping, they're gonna be swaddled, and they're gonna need their diaper changed very frequently. So for me, it's just easy to keep them in their diaper, keep them in their swaddle, and don't worry about it. Um, so you can bring your own swaddles, and I brought a couple. We use them to take pictures, but for the most part, she just stayed in the, the blanket that the hospital provides. Um, I do think it's nice to have a couple muslin blankets just because they're soft, breathable, you can practice swaddling, um, and then you have something for her to come home if she needs a little blanket. They double as burp cloths, um, and they're pretty and, you know, girly and whatnot. So they don't take up much space. They're pretty functional, and I do recommend taking at least one. And then you're gonna need a coming home outfit for baby. So I just took one newborn size outfit and then one zero to three months. I have big babies. My son was almost nine pounds and my daughter ended up almost being nine pounds. So I didn't know if she would fit in the newborn. Luckily she did. So I got to bring her home in this cute little posh peanut onesie. Um, but I also brought this pink onesie. It's zero to three months. Um, I got a two pack on Amazon and they actually ended up being our favorite PJs for her as a newborn. They're super soft, organic cotton. They're the zipper, so super easy for diaper changes in the middle of the night. Um, just simple and cute and really cozy. I also am really glad that I brought a couple different hats for her, so the hospital will give you a hat. Um, but of course, this is my first girl, so I was really excited for all the pink, all the bows, everything like that. So I bought a four pack of these hats on Amazon. Um, they were like under $10. 
and we got to, you know, get my little girl moment and have her wear a bow. And then this was her coming home hat. Um, it's Barefoot Dreams, and I just thought it was super cute with this little onesie. Um, and then I also brought a couple pairs of socks for her just in case. I hate the thought of little baby's feet being cold. So we had the hat and the socks and the outfit, but that's really all um, in terms of clothes wise that we brought for the baby. And I also bought the matching robe. I love this robe. I still wear it all the time. Um, it's just pretty and lightweight and really soft and super easy to nurse in. And I wore it like a that's pretty much all I wore a couple weeks postpartum just because it's convenient, comfy, soft. Um, yeah, I love this robe. I highly recommend it. And it's a bonus that it matches and there's boy options too. So I loved, you know, having that little moment with Charlotte, being able to match when we came home, um, all the girly things. And I'm really happy that I brought that comfy robe for myself. So honestly, I stayed in the robe for most of the time. Um, if you want, I have this that I wear postpartum. I, I wore it at home. It's from Target. It's just a, a sleep dress um, or a nightgown, I guess you'd call it. It buttons, so it's super nursing friendly. Um, I had a C-section with both my babies. I had to uh, for medical reasons, and you really aren't going to want to put pants on. Um, in the first, you know, day or two after you give birth, especially because you're going to be, you know, in the bathroom a lot, changing your, um, pads and your mesh underwear and things like that. So having a robe or a nightgown, in my opinion, is crucial. Plus, if you have a C-section, you're going to have that incision and the thought of putting pants on, you know, right after you give birth, no way, no way for me. Um, so a dress or, or high-waisted pants or a really loose waistband would probably be okay, but I'm a dress or, or robe all the way. Um, and then I came home in this Barefoot Dreams uh, pink hoodie sweatshirt. Super soft, super cozy. If you've ever felt anything by Barefoot Dreams, you'll understand it's just so nice and so cozy and there's a lot of snuggling and cuddling going on so I I you know always want to be in the softest thing possible um I came home in this and then of course my Lululemon Align leggings um at that point I was able to put pants on and it was just something super easy and soft to wear home um also you could come in in like a maxi dress or something like a jogger set or something like that. Just something very loose, comfortable, soft, um, something you can move in um, and something that you're just gonna be comfortable if you've just had surgery or just had a baby. Um, yeah. I also brought blankets for my baby, um, myself and my husband. So Charlotte got this little Barefoot Dreams blanket from my mom as a baby gift. I love this blanket. I basically just used it on her on the way home. She doesn't really need it in the hospital, but I did like having it for her when she was in her car seat because I didn't want her to get cold. Um, I loved having this blanket for myself. It's so soft. It made me feel like I was home. Um, I have special laundry detergent that I washed it in, so I just felt like I had something from home with me. And then my husband got one too. So. Um, he was on, you know, the little pull-out couch and I feel like the linens are kind of scratchy. So I like, it makes me sad thinking about him having to sleep on that couch. So I love that, you know, he had a little piece of home too and that he had something soft. There's a lot of downtime. There's a lot of sleeping. There's a lot of napping and there's a lot of cuddling. So having this blanket was really, really nice. Another tip that I have is to bring like cheapo slippers that you're okay throwing away. Um, just because like you're walking around in the hospital and it's just kind of icky. So I got these cheapies on Amazon. Um, they're really comfortable and really cute. I liked having them in the hospital with me. And then I also really liked having these shoes. Um, I kept them by my bag so that I was just ready to slip them on and go. Um, I had a planned C-section with my second baby, so 
my bag was, you know, ready the night before and I just put these shoes by my bag so that I could just slip them on and go. They're also like $12, so you can just toss them after you get home and buy a new pair. Um, or, you know, you could just bleach them because they're white and they're plastic. So um, really easy to clean and really easy for my big swollen pregnant feet to fit in and just comfortable with good support. So I brought Charlotte's baby book because the hospital can do footprints and handprints in the book for you. Um, and then if you want to just take any immediate notes, it's kind of like a journal, you can start jotting down the birth story or, you know, record the height and the weight of the baby or the time they were born and anything like that. Um, just to kind of reflect on your experience. I liked having mine. I put her little hospital bracelet and anklet in there um, after we got home and it was just kind of nice to have with us. So... I'm going to do a blog post on everything I brought and I'm going to write all this out and link all of the products that um, I took with us. So if you're interested, um, check out my blog post. I'll link the products below as well. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, if there's anything I missed, add it in the comments below. I'd love to hear what items you brought, what were your game changers. Um, and I hope that this was helpful. Okay, thanks guys, have a great day.